What's up, people? Marjack79 here. We are back again today with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. The main focus is going to be the Armorer from Star Wars The Mandalorian. We also got the Star Wars The Mandalorian, the Incinerary Trooper, to add some pizzazz, some extra pizzazz to this video as well. So, let's go take a look at her in the package here. It looks really good. This is kind of like the trainer armor that makes all the Mandalorian's weapons and armor, so on and so forth. So, very happy to get this figure in. Picked her up from Target, 1999. Yeah, I've got her with her tools here. Could also, be can be her weapons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spin it to the side here. Bing. Pretty cool. The armor plays a vital role in keeping the culture of the Mandalorians alive. She forges the best car armor in the ancient tradition of her people. Very nice. She is obviously the one responsible for creating the, the best car armor that the Mandalorian wears. We have the center to a trooper here. Looks really cool. The package has a huge flamethrower there. Got a flamethrower effect. Can't wait to bust this one open. Spin it to the back here. Center Trooper armor was exceptionally heat resistant and bore red markings in order to indicate their specialty. Very nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's crack these babies open, man. Let's take a look. And now we have our armory out of the package here. And she is looking pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. Some details on the helmet there. Looks really cool. I feel like getting a better look at her than we've ever gotten in the show because it was always like a dim dark surrounding within the Mandalorian show and the little cave that she was always in. Up here, you're getting a really decent look at her outfit here. Colors pop, looks good. Got the leather skirt there, looks really cool. Little padded bracelets here, pretty sweet. Legs, looks cool. You look at her weapons slash building gear here. The hammer and the pliers it's really cool you can spin it to the side here looks really cool you get a, another look at the helmet here looks really dope really like it looks good definitely going to be very aesthetically pleasing and a good you know uh, accessory piece to mando himself looks really good man okay let's look at this uh in center tour trooper helmet looks cool the red paint on there Blue stripes, silver stripes at the top, pretty sweet. Red shoulder plates, red uh, stripes on the armor there. The big gun, the flamethrower itself, pretty sweet. There, he's spinning to the back here. Has his little gas. It's like kind of got like a first order symbol there, pretty neat. Red shoulder pads, red thighs. Red ankles, pretty cool. I think this figure sometimes has a tough time to stand. He's pretty tight, he's pretty top heavy. We'll keep that in mind. It's flame effect here. We'll plug that in in just a second to give you guys a look. Head down, up, rotate 360 degrees. Now, obviously, this little fur piece can come off. I'll show you the back of that here, real, real quick. Oh no, <laughs> see, pretty, pretty sweet. But head, rotate 360 degrees, tilt, right, left, down, up. There you go. Uh, we're trying to take this helmet off. I feel like I've seen this helmet come off, but I'm, I'm not going to force mine, though. So I actually want to keep my figure intact. <laughs> you know, so we'll just leave it at that. Arm, go up that much. You kind of got to push it outwards to get the full 360 rotation though because of the uh, shoulder hair. Kind of hinders it a bit. Can go up though, as you can see. Pretty cool. Push that back down. Then elbow swivel bing 360. Elbow joint. Push it up 90 degrees. Back down. Wrist. Just turn it up. Can you go up? Uh, mm, not really. <laughs> you, you get like a smidge, but not really. See that? Barely. Chest, crunch, boom, down, up, side, to side, rotate 360 degrees. Not much, honestly. It's okay though. 
no big deal. Leg, and or obviously, uh, well, can, you know, the uh, skirt here is a hard plastic, but you can spread it apart to maybe push the articulation a little bit further. So leg, kick out, kick backwards, knee, that's all you get. I feel like I'm going to break it if I try to push it any further than that. So not so not much on that knee. Straighten that back out. Ankle. Up. Down. Really turn it. Turn it. Rotate. Does it have a shin swivel? No, it does not have a shin swivel. Sure you make sure you keep that knee straight. You can get kind of turning on you there. Thigh rotate 360 degrees though. So there's that at least. Let's hit this uh Cinerary Trooper here. Okay, head down, up, rotate, tilt, tilt, barely. Arm rotate 360. The uh, shoulder pad here is on like a little flimsy flim here going on there. It's pretty cool. Uh, no bicep, does have an elbow swivel, push that up, 90 degrees, and rotate the hand, 360, push it up, push it down, tilt, and tilt. Chest, down, that much, up, that much, not much, rotate, not very much because it's going to get hindered by the wire on the uh, kind of the gas canister here with the flamethrower. Leg, kick out, kick backwards, knee joint. You get that much. So basically, your same articulation for all the other stone troopers, so on and so forth. Ankle, down, up. Tilt, tilt. Can rotate as well, but I'm not doing all that. Yep. Now with this side, it's going to be a little bit hindered because the wire is the holding the flamethrower here. It gets the job done. You just got to angle it up a little bit here. Make sure you angle it right. To I wish he would have came with like a hand to like a holder to actually hold the bottom of the flamethrower correctly but because this doesn't fit in this in this hand here you kind of just got to force it a little bit but it still won't really look 100% right because this hand is not designed to hold something of this magnitude so looks like if you wanted to take this off it can't come off because I mean this this can unsnap here but I'm not doing all that. So, so we're gonna snap that back on. And snap this back on here. We're gonna leave that just like that. So, but, but at least you have that option though if you wanted to take off the flamethrower pack. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's hit these accessories here. Okay, and now we have the armory with her tools here or her weapons, whatever you wanna call them, her hammer and her pliers. Looks really good. Most likely how she is going to appear on the shelf in the in the museum. Then we have our flame effect attached to Stormtrooper. It works out okay. Makes it a little bit tough to stand out. You have to angle those legs just right so that he can be properly able to stand with the accessory attached. So, looks good, man. I am pretty satisfied with these purchases. Definitely the armor I'm most excited for, obviously, but I'm pretty happy to have the yeah, Flame Trooper from the Mandalorian as well. So, okay, I think that's going to do it, man. So let's go ahead and let's take these puppies down to the museum and let's finish out here. And we're back, man. So now we've placed our Incinerate Trooper at the bottom. Not really necessarily at the, the main shelf. I just really didn't have a place for them. So let's put them. At the bottom some Disney some other Star Wars stuff here we got, got some holograms here at least the boxed Mandalorian some Galaxy's Edge stuff lightsabers oh yeah then we have the armory right here behind the Black Series Mando 
and the child, and then Dasoka, Cal Kestis. So, really like how that turned out. Yeah, man. That's really it, dude. I mean, you know, these are definitely not like must haves in a Star Wars collection, but, you know, it was just a cool character that I really like, especially that scene where she just took out all those stormtroopers. It's really what sold it for me to go ahead and pick this figure up. Alright man, I'm I think I'm Star Wars Alpha right now. I've uploaded a ton of Star Wars stuff in the past couple of weeks, so we're definitely gonna take a break on Star Wars for right now and focus on some other stuff, man. So stay tuned for that. So as always, you can follow me at youtube.com slash smartjack79. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So support the channel, please. Oh well, yeah. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.